and I think I got this in folder also with, along with me. It's reimagining business, leveraging technology and green practices. It's, I think, one of the toughest things of today's generation to talk about green energy also and moving forward. But yes, if we can do it well, we'll save generations ahead of us. And if we do not do it well, then I think it becomes a risk for the future generations, maybe not for us. When I was elected as a member of parliament, my first question that I asked the union minister in parliament standing there was, what are we doing to control electric waste? I think everybody has a smartphone today. But you don't know the future, how all these batteries and the waste material, where is it going and how will we sustain this huge modernization of IT technology? Laptops, your cameras, your video recorders. This is a huge dump of electric waste and I think this should be one topic in the university for next one year that Gurugram University should look into. Friends, when we talk about good practices, technology has evolved. Right across, I think, five to seven kilometers from your university, there is an institute called Terry. Terry is doing a lot to look into how we sustain green energy and move forward how we clean up our rivers, how we utilize our resources to its maximum limits. And not only one, I think India has multiple such organizations funded by private sector or the government who are doing into research specifically based on green energy. But when this debate comes in, as Dr. Apreet was saying, that PPP, people, profit and planet. I think then we need to research more onto this topic. I got this opportunity to stay in USA for my bachelor's for about three and a half years. And I have seen that country. They're the most intelligent people. What they do is they resource, they utilize their resource to its maximum. And then they ship it to the third world countries. <laughs> we can't do that. They have that advantage, their population is not that huge. We have the biggest population on this planet. And I think this is high time that we start working on to these issues. I had taken up a challenge a year ago in my constituency of Uchana, where sustainability and green energy, how can it be a part of every individual's day-to-day -day routine. It took me 1.25 crores to put up solar on every house. Every government infrastructure there. And today I can proudly say that by end of November, Gurukul Kheda in Uchana will become a 100% solar supported village and people who do not utilize regular electricity will feed that electricity to the power grid and at night utilize the power grid's energy. But still, it is one step forward. As individuals also, we need to start utilizing such technologies which are coming in. Solar panels which were introduced 15 years ago could sustain 15 to 20 years. Now their sustainability has increased to 30, 35 years and the price has gone down. And that is one place where as individuals we should start investing in. We are looking into electric cars. I got this opportunity as industry portfolio, which I hold, to introduce the electric vehicle policy for the state. We have the, one of the best electric vehicle policies in the country. I have seen people moving from petrol, diesel vehicles, not to hybrid, to electric. And today you roam around Gurgaon 
and you roam around Delhi, you'll see more green number plate cars moving around in Gurgaon than Delhi. It is just because one policy change was there. But then, I'll put a question across to you to decide on it. Are we literally going on to green energy by just utilizing a car which is electric? No. We are burning fossil fuels to produce electricity and then utilizing that electricity and saying, yes, I am using a green car. I think we need to discuss this on a larger scale also that how would we produce better technology. I recently got a chance to meet an Israeli scientist and he produced these small seven feet tall wind uh, pa panels which could produce one megawatt of power through wind turbines into an area of two canals. And when we go to solar, I think one megawatt takes about 3.5 acres. See the difference of area utilization and power generation can be changed by one small technology advancement. I think that is where our universities also need to start investing into. Today, the problem what we foresee in our country comparing to the other countries are there, our universities are very new. Most of the oldest university I think our state has will be HAU and KUK. Rest of them, all of them have come in last two decades. But how would we take ourselves forward and collaborate and get technology moving in from other nations is a big challenge but a big opportunity also. When I was in college, I read a book of Malcolm Gladwin and it says, in Chinese, opportunity and crisis are same alphabet. And that is the challenge where I think with this advantage of having the largest, youngest population of the world, we can look into doing more work onto technology transfers and technology advancements. And I think if we can do that, we can lead the world into going into greener energy. Friends, one thing that I think we should take back to our studies now from this is that our work needs, needs to be expedited. And the cost of these green energies should be reduced to that level that it becomes sustainable for every individual to utilize. I would uh, congratulate the Gurugram University as well as our uh, partner university from uh, Bell Prasio University from the United States for collaborating and doing this third conference here in Gurugram and I think this becomes an opportunity for all these young students here that they can also move on to futuristic developments with the help of technologies in America and now India becoming that IT hub, technology hub for the globe also. We have become the fifth largest economy and in the next five years, ten years we foresee ourselves becoming the third largest economy of the world. With that, I think in research and technology also, we need to work on to such aspects of uh, greener and better uh, fuels. I think Air India being here, I would request Ma'am Harpreet also to do a tie-up of Air India with Gurugram Universities. And in our aviation policy, we have this support from the government side. I personally did that, that we can support up to 5 crores in supporting universities to do research and development in aviation and up to 5 crores to start incubators in universities. I think this is the next step that we need to take as a country also that incubation and research are two fields where our universities have to start spending more. And once we start spending more in such uh, points of research, I with full hope, with full support, I think all these kids you see here today who are just in their degrees, go either doing undergraduate or postgraduate, I think most of your American companies or all global companies across the world now have individuals from this country leading them. 
and i think it it, it won't be that long that india will become a support system for global advancement and for that i think these types are must and uh, air india moving their base i think tata moving their base first time to the state of haryana yes. i would uh, like to thank uh, air india also because in january i first requested air india when they were looking for their uh, headquarters to be established and i said not only headquarters you need to focus on three things which needs to be established in one place for better sustainability is one your headquarters so they have already moved their headquarters on national highway right i think about 4 5 kilometers on the other side of the city and second thing is their techni- technical aviation academy in which we can have better engineers coming in and studying in the state and third thing is pilot advancement system and ma'am was just telling me that air india has now decided to put 19 simulators for pilot advancement training in gurugram in the future and i think that will give more support for our these uh, young pilots to come in and i think aviation is one industry where green still needs to be looked into because we burn a lot of fuel but yes government of india has decided that we are going to now experiment and move forward by using aviation fuel and ethanol to a level of 2% in air aeroplanes and i think that will be one step forward of our today's agenda that is utilizing green practices in businesses and i would like to congratulate uh, the university the vice chancellor the dean to hold this conference today thank you very much for calling me here it was a great opportunity